was it that he knew it, of course, before the event, that he's the underdog? He will be able to defend this tricky ending with under one and a half minutes on the clock? That's a great question. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that Magnus will give a great heading. Yeah, but I, I want a yes, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate queen and game expert and uh okay well we have our third armageddon appearing and it's the game between shakriya mamajarov and nordebeg abduzatorov and we have to remember the armageddon full format white will have 10 minutes black will have seven minutes they will get a one second increment after move 40 and the most important point black will win with a draw yeah, and it's uh, early days in this one. We've only had nine moves. It started out as a Queen's Gambit declined. And after the first trade of pawns, just on the last turn, Nodebek has jumped out with his knight, trying to initiate even more exchanges. And Mamadurov says, yes, okay, let's trade off a set of knights. So black is going to be solid, but white will have a bit more space. Can he make anything of that space advantage? That is the big question. And okay, there was a threat to ruin the white pawn structure. So Mamadurov just simply drops back. This one... Looks like Black is doing okay to me, Judith. Black is doing fine, but White is doing fine too. So it's going to be, I think, a tough game. Of course, Mama Diaro will be trying. Not so easy though. Probably he'll come back with Bishop D3, Rook C1. Optionally, maybe at some point B4. Black obviously will not uh, want to take on G3. He wants to keep the tension over there. It's not easy to gain uh, advantage for white, that's for sure, but it's a game. But white does have a plan of just simply lining up the rook and the queen on c2 and then penetrating on to c7. But okay, Mama Jarv is not a clinical player. He likes creativity, he likes to go forward, and he attacks the queen. Yeah, and now the big question is how to deal with this hit on the black queen. And he answers it immediately. He drops back any bishop trades here would, who would think? Again, uh, get I'm just sort of closer to that desired draw. And I don't really like what Shaq has done. I've got to say, I don't understand this last move. It just feel, felt like a one move threat, which is easily dealt with. And I'm just sort of, he's going to be completely fine, surely. Maybe he has the idea of repeating the moves. Bishop will drop to g3, and then he's but one not second gaining, cloner. You're closer. not gaining time, as in many others. That is true, but you are one move closer to that uh, one second which, okay, there you go, bishop b7 on the board. I mean, I agree with you, it does seem like a loss of tempo. I mean, my idea was to go queen c2, drop the bishop back to d3, pressure on c7, but... Mm. The problem was, Abdusatorov was not obliged to repeat. Okay, now he goes with his bishop, and, uh, okay, Mar
and uh, just while the tension mounts, let's quickly jump back to this position. Rook d4 was indeed a huge blunder because after rook takes c6, black would have been winning. There's a counterattack against the white queen, no time to take black's queen, and a check would have been met by a block with the black knight. Really strong move here after rook takes. This is trouble for the white king. Next move. Actually, black will either take the rook or even just jump in with the other black rook with a killer attack. Missed opportunity for Nordebek Abduzatorov. Let's get back to the game, however, and uh, this is the current position. Everything to play for, but white is breaking through. White has a strong knight, and the e6 pawn, huge weakness. Is Abduzatorov going to do it? Well, I think it's it will be very hard to hold it because there are too many weaknesses. Knight e5, g6 is a weakness. E5 also very tempting to maneuver it to G5 and Knight E5, F5 options, G4 options. Absolutely. And Jeff, of course, you can always pile up on the E6 pawn. This is a complete control mode for Shakira, and Shakira, of course, has big time advantage as well. Abdusatorov now under 50 seconds on the clock. He will be getting a one second increase. But it's too late because the g6 pawn is uh, falling off in a very bad circumstances because next move is knight e5. Now when Majorov looks out what move they are, but... Uh... Yeah, he has that luxury, Mamajorov, with almost three minutes on the clock. He can afford to take a zoom out of the position and uh, he knows that he is dominating. He knows he's got a checkmating attack incoming. And wow, desperation from Abdustorov giving up on the g6 pawn, running with the king. Oh, what a nice play from Mamajarov. Doesn't even take the pawn. Instead, attacks the rook and going to grab that g6 pawn with the knight. Go. And there you see it. Nordebeck resigns and Mamajarov walks away with one and a half points and a victory in Armageddon. Experience one. <laughs> <laughs> With a few twists and turns on the <laughs> Exactly. But he's seen before many of these kind of things. Yeah, in the end, Abdusatorov just didn't have the sufficient.